the RTX 3070 is finally here and today we have this the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070 Gaming OC 8G lengthy name to say but what will this card be when it compares to the previous flagship card 2080 Ti Before we move into performance, let's look at the card for a little bit. Looking at the design of the card itself, we can see that it's actually more compact than the 3080 and 3090, of course, <laughs> bigger cards. But size-wise, it's definitely more compact than the two I've mentioned just now. And it has smaller fans as well. But here's the thing. If you look at the back plate itself, they still feature the same cut out on the back plate which is pretty similar to what we've seen on the Founders Edition cards which Nvidia claims to be able to improve the thermal performance by having the heat being flow through here and dissipate out from your case via the rear exhaust fan. But that doesn't necessarily mean you have lower cooling performance than the two because looking at previous design of the gaming OC cards, the thermal performance is just great and it's silent. So having similar designs on the fan and the rest, I believe that you won't be having any issues with this card when it comes to thermal performance. Also looking at the PCIe power connectors here, we can see that it actually features the same design as the 3080 and 3090 gaming OC from here, but which we previously tried. And I would say this is actually a very good design if you are very picky about cable management because some of the cars we've seen, they have the PCIe power connector located at the very end of the PCB itself, which doesn't look that nice when it comes to cable management. And looking at the display output, it might look pretty standard at first glance, but if we take a closer look at it, it actually have two display ports and two HDMI. It might not be a big change to some of you out there, but having two HDMI ports here does have an advantage, especially when you like HDMI ports a lot because the cables come cheaper and more common as compared to display ports. So yeah, that's pretty much it about the design of the card itself. And let's move on with the performance number of the cards here. So looking at the performance number we've shown just now, I would say the 3070 is more like a 2080 almost Ti because performance wise it's very close to the 2080 Ti. Sometimes it's better but you also see some of the performance which is lower than the 2080 Ti itself. So 
2080 almost ti is probably the best word i can use for the 3070 for now power consumption wise you can pretty much get away with 650 watt power supply but let's not take the risk as i would recommend you to go with at least a 750 watt just to be safe as for the thermals, the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Gaming OC here fares pretty well despite of its smaller compact design. We've run the not so recommended Fermark for almost a day and the highest temperature recorded on this card is only at 71 Celsius. So I'll say it's pretty fair temperature for a card of this size. Down to the price, the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Gaming OC here retails at 2899 Ringgit Malaysia, which is pretty fair price, I would say. So if we look at everything as a whole, I would say the RTX 3070 is a pretty decent card to consider for, especially if if you have previously considered of buying a 2080 Ti when the RTX 30 series came out for a very good reason. The RTX 3070 is using the latest MP architecture, whereas the 2080 Ti is still using the previous gen Turing GPU. And this also retails at a cheaper price, a lot cheaper and brand new. So yeah, personally, I think the 3070 is a pretty decent card for those who want a very good performance out of the budget. So that's it for our review of the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Gaming OC here. Do let us know what you think about the 3070 and the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Gaming OC here or the rest of the Gigabyte 3070 lineup. Let us know in the comment down below. If you like our video here, do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel here for more contents like this in the future. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.